doctors told me I would never walk. So I decided to jump. Crystal ist so eine Art Lebensversicherung. Sie ist aus meiner Sicht die beste Diagonalangreiferin, die die deutsche Volleyball-Bundesliga hat. Jeder mit Volleyballverstand konnte sehen, dass damals im Budget jemand war, die unglaublich punkten kann. Wenn sie so ein Niveau in Frankreich auf dem Feld bringen kann, dann kann sie es wahrscheinlich auch in Deutschland. Wir haben dann einfach gemeinsam entschieden, ja, dass das Risiko gehen wir. I was born with some pretty severe birth defects and the doctors, they said to my mom um, that I would probably die. They kind of pushed me to the side and put a blanket over me and they told her, you know, be ready that I wouldn't make it. From that moment on, um, my life was filled with a lot of hospital stays, uh, a lot of surgeries. The hospital was like my second home and those doctors, you could say, like, um, were kind of like a family to me. Like, I saw them so often and they really were always kind of giving me hope and they, they always told me to whatever I could do to do it. My brother, yeah, he's, he's two years older than me and um, he was always really active into sports. I wanted to be just behind him. I was always trying to play just as hard as him. This, I think, kind of pushed me as well because he treated me as just normal. Like he always treated me as just his little sister. I started playing volleyball really late for this sport. I was around 16 or 17 and first games, I really did really well and I was like, oh wow, like I'm actually really good. During my, my first season, I had a stress reaction in my leg and at the same time I had a, a swollen lymph node. The doctor walked in and he goes, you know, Crystal, your leg is okay. But the bad news is you have cancer. This is something that could be life changing for me. A cancer diagnosis is something that's that's a lot. But I was still focused on like my goals and school and volleyball and just wanting to still be the person who I was. If I could do something, I was gonna do it. And my first thoughts were to keep going. I was diagnosed in January. Um, I started my chemotherapy treatments in February of 2014, and I finished my chemotherapy in July of 2014. And um, throughout this time, I still trained, I still practiced, and I went on to have um, probably my best season um, in volleyball, my college career. Das ist echt ein Wunder. Ich kann das nicht erklären, wie sie das schafft und. Um Ja, diese Mentalstärke, die sie hat, das ist natürlich schon echt was Besonderes, was nur wenige Menschen haben. Die hat schon so viel erlebt und so viel durchgemacht. Und trotzdem, jeden Tag gibt die alles im Training, jedes Spiel, auf die kannst du dich voll verlassen. Es gibt viele Spielerinnen, die kommen und gehen, aber äh, ja, sie wird nicht vergessen werden hier. I've really found a home here at Stuttgart because of, you know, the fans, the volleyball, the league. I mean, even when the pandemic started, you know, like I, I decided to stay here. But in the U.S., there's been so many, you know, things with our um, politics and with so many things happening with um, Black Lives Matters movement, all that stuff. And um, this year has really put that in perspective for me. And like, I think back to my time when I had cancer and just everything I've been through in my life. Um, and the struggles that people have experienced this year. And I just think there's a way to use the support around you and to have you know, belief in yourself and to stay positive and believe that no matter what's in front of you, you can, you can find a way around it. You go over, you go around, you go under, but you find a way around it.